47 now on a Friday morning and other than some patchy fog out there, we're starting out pretty seasonable, right, Michelle, around the 40 degree mark, but it's what we're going to top out. That's not seasonable. Yeah, we're going to be running well above average and it's not just one or two days. Yeah. It's all the way through early next week, so very warm, a throwback even to a late summer feel. Mm -hmm. We do have a little fog yeah. this morning, a little cool view of those low clouds and fog and winding its way through the city <laughs> uh, skyline of Providence right now. Let's take a look at another live cam from New Bedford, where the temperatures are some of the coolest of the region. It's in the 30s and parts of New Bedford near the airport down to about a quarter mile visibility. Same goes on Aquidneck Island and Smithfield westerly with some thick fog Providence down to about a mile right now. So a range of temperatures, upper 30s, New Bedford, upper 40s, Newport 55 on Block Island and about 45 in Providence right now. We do have the temperatures in the middle 40s in Richmond and Coventry running above average to start off our day around 49 degrees. So a late summer throwback going to lead our weather headlines. I have our temperatures 70 plus today through Monday. We are going to be dealing with some patchy morning fog next couple of days. Storm free stretch though. We don't have any rain in the forecast. Another seven days ahead of us without any rain, but it does cool down in the middle of next week and we'll show you that a return to more seasonable highs. Our live radar this morning dry once we get through the fog. We've got mostly sunny skies area of high pressure to the east of us now pumping in that warm air cold front. The game changer here all the way back to the west of us and it's only going to be slowly moving eastward that high going to block its progression, but you can see some snow now parts of the northern plains and that temperature contrast significant from the 30s up across the Duluth to the 60s in Chicago right now. And for our area, a little cool to start, but that warmer air going to continue to move in. So here's how I envision the morning unfolding, starting off with the clouds and fog. By 10 o'clock, we're getting back to sunshine. Noontime temperatures warming up, middle 60s, afternoon highs, touching right around 70 degrees inland and in the mid to upper 60s along the coast. Winds out of the southwest will stay around 5 to 10 miles per hour with a few gusts to 15. For your high school football games, Real comfortable. Low 60s early on, still at 10 o'clock in the evening, around 60 degrees. Then late tonight, falling into the middle 50s. And while the night starts off clear, we do have some patchy fog returning late with those above average temperatures. So that sets the stage for that possible record warmth this weekend. Best chance to break the record is on Sunday. The record highs a little cooler at 72 degrees and our temperatures even a little bit warmer than what we're going to be seeing on Saturday. So here's what we're looking at 70 for today, lower 70s for tomorrow. Once again, some clouds in the morning giving way a partly sunny sky about 73 degrees from noon all the way through about three o'clock in the afternoon. Very mild Saturday night, only dipping to near 60 degrees and then Sunday's high near 70. Four. If you're out tailgating for the Pats game, what a day to do it. Temperatures in the upper 60s. It'll be breezy and there'll be some extra clouds around on Sunday. We're talking winds gusting as high as 20 to 30 miles per hour, but dry skies expected. And we see that again Monday, 75 during the day. Cooler air moving in Monday evening and night. And you'll notice a big difference by Tuesday. Highs only in the 50s.